गूगल हैज जस्ट अनाउंस जेमिना एंड इट बी इट जीपी फोर इन बेंच मार्क्स एंड हियर आर द थिंग्स दैट यू नीड टू नो अबाउट इट सो दिस इज द जेमिना वर्जन वन पॉइंट ओ and it's going to start off in three different sizes first is gemini ultra which is the largest and most capable model then we have uh, gemini pro which is the best model for scaling across a wide range of tasks and gemini pro is the model which uh, we have now access to then we have gemini nano which is for on device tasks and this seems to be designed for mobile use cases and this model is built from ground up to be multi model while the gpt3 and gpt4 are initially trained from ground up to be text models and they are recently has been upgraded to accept both images and the audio now in benchmarking test gemini ultra outperforms gpt4 in most of the cases keep in mind gemini ultra is the model which we don't have access to yet but probably we will get access by next year but we have gemini pro which is close comparison to gpt 3.5 but this gemini ultra when given these tests is it outperforms gpt 4 so here are the test in which gemini ultra outperforms gpt 4 the first test is journal test in which we have mm lu test then we have reasoning and then we have math and and at last we have code test so it seems like from the stats that gemini ultra outperformed gpt4 and again this is the model which we will get access next year so here are some example google shared in this example they gave a math problem worksheet and the problems are already solved with the handwriting and gemini is asked to check the answer it can read the answers and understand what was right and what was wrong and explain the concepts that need more clarification So Gemini identify some mistakes with problems 1 and 3 here. Let's take a look at 3. Here Gemini identifies that the formula was correct, but there was a mistake in calculating height. We can ask Gemini to explain in more details why the height is 50 meters instead of 6. I can ask Gemini to explain further. Here Gemini explains the step-by-step -step details to solving the problem. Because of Gemini's ability to understand nuanced information, In answer questions relating to complicated topics, it can give you a customized explanation of the subject you're trying to learn. Google also put up this really cool video on YouTube. So check this out. All right. Testing Gemini. Here we go. Tell me what you see. I see you placing a piece of paper on the table. I see a squiggly line. What about now? The contour lines are smooth and flowing with no sharp angles or jagged edges. It looks like a bird to me. Hmm, what if I add this? The bird is swimming in the water. It has a long neck and beak. It is a duck. Yes. A duck is a type of waterfowl in the family Anatidae. Ducks are closely related to geese and swans. The duck appears to be blue. This is not a common color for ducks. However, there are some breeds of blue ducks. These are typically not as common as other duck breeds. It is more common for ducks to be brown, black or white. Are you sure? What the quack? I was just talking about a blue duck and now you're holding one. It looks like blue ducks are more common than I thought. Would this float? I'm not sure what material it's made of, but it looks like it might be rubber or plastic. What if I tell you it's making a squeaking sound? Oh, if it's squeaking, it's definitely going to float. Hmm, nice. It is a rubber duck. It is made of a material that is less dense than water. Can you teach me how to say this in a different language? And give me a few options. Oh, can you explain how to pronounce the Mandarin one? Is it Yatsu? Yatsu is pronounced with a first tone. In Mandarin, there are four tones, which are essential to distinguish the meaning of words. The first tone is a high level tone. Oh, okay. The duck is in the middle of the ocean. There is no land nearby for the duck to rest or find food. It is unlikely to find ducks here naturally. Okay, based on what you see, come up with a game idea. Oh, and use emojis please. How about this? We can play a game called Guess the Country. Sure, let's do it. Clue one. This country is the home of the kangaroo, the koala, and the great barrier reef. Oh, that's easy. Clue two. This country loves football and has won the most men's world cups in football history. Hmm. You are trying to get me to find the paper ball under the cup. I accept the challenge. The cup to the left. Nice. I know what you're doing. You're playing rock paper scissors. What do you see now? The fingers are spread out to look like the wings of a butterfly. What's this? 
Big ear and barking mouth. A dog. Sweet. The coin should be under the right hand. Hmm. I don't know. The coin is in the left hand using a sleight of hand technique to make it appear as if the coin has disappeared. Both objects are round and flat. There you go. Both are food. The orange is a healthier choice than the cookie. Citrus can be calming and so can the spin of the fidget toy. They are both examples of popular toys that have been enjoyed by children and adults alike for many years. Give me some ideas for what I could make with this. I see pink and green yarn. How about a dragon fruit? Or how about a green cake with a pink heart? Okay, how about these colors? And maybe show me some animals. Okay, now I see blue and pink yarn. How about a pig with blue ears? Or an octopus? Or a bunny with a pink nose? Ooh, I'll keep those in mind. Which way should the duck go? Going left leads to a duck, which is a friend. Going right leads to a bear, which is a foe. It is better to make friends than foes, so the duck should go left. <laughs> Smart choice. This is a picture of a crab. That's right. Is this the right order? No. The correct order is Sun, Earth, Saturn. Based on their design, which of these would go faster? The car on the right would be faster. It is more aerodynamic. Which looks more fun? The one on the right, because it has a loop. What do you think this person might be saying? How about a woohoo? Oh, I love that. I see you're drawing a guitar. You've added an amp. Now it's an electric guitar. We can make some seriously loud music now. Given that you added drums, how about some 80s hair metal? Alright, I see you've added a palm tree to the drawing. Change it up with some beachy vibes. What movie are they acting out here? I think they are acting out the famous bullet time scene from The Matrix. Ooh, nice! What do you think might happen next? The cat is going to jump to the wall and stick the landing. It's going to be a perfect 10. Oh, and it's a miss. It looks like it was just a little too far away. But don't worry, the cat is a natural athlete and it will be back up there in no time. Okay, I've got one more for you. Describe the drawing I made. It is a simple line drawing of the constellation Gemini. You did a good job of capturing the beauty of Gemini. Nice. That's it. I think we're done. So the Gemini is similar to GPT 3.5. And it's really the Gemini Ultra which is going to give us all of these exciting features that they showed off today. We don't know when in the next year we will have access to the Gemini Ultra. But again, Bard has improved a lot. So that's it for this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to stay updated about the AI world. See you in the next video.